Uh, as you know, last August, uh, we passed, it wasn't easy, a $12 billion investment, new investment in our tollway system in Illinois. So when you add up the $31 billion of investment in our uh, Illinois Jobs Now with the $12 billion in the tollway, that's $43 billion of investment in infrastructure. And we understand that that is the key to having a strong economy. Illinois has great location, we have great transportation, and we want to have great education. Those uh, three come together. That's the uh, recipe uh, for a very strong economy and more jobs. And that's what we have to work on. And it begins with investing in our transportation. And I did want to say a few things today uh, for folks here in central Illinois. We've done a number of projects. Uh, of, uh, Dave Kaler is uh, indefeasible when it comes to advocating for important projects in central Illinois. Uh, Technology Boulevard in Tazewell County, East Peoria area is a very important project we have uh, been working on, almost done with. Same way with Veterans Drive, we've got that uh, moving forward. We've also done projects, uh, the Orange Prairie in Peoria, and also I-55 155, uh, the resurfacing. But today we want to announce two more projects, one of which is the completion of a long standing project, about $43 million altogether, invested in Route 8, the last leg of that project we're going to be embarking on here this year, about $10 million uh, invested. And uh, Route 8 is a very important route for both cars and trucks, 19,000 or so vehicles every day and uh, we'll complete that uh, this year with our investment. And also we are looking at another investment that involves both rail and road transportation on Route 29 up in Chillicothe, not far from the Illinois River. We're working with the uh, BNSF, the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. We're gonna be uh, relocating a rail line there. We're gonna work on the viaduct. It's very, very important that we begin the design and engineering of that project. We're investing a couple million dollars in that as well. We believe in every part of our state having access to top-notch 21st century transportation. And just since we passed the law that uh, John Cullerton and Dave Kaler and many others worked on, we've invested $9.7 billion in road repair and bridge construction in our state, more than 4,000 projects already. This summer we're gonna have about 1,000 projects going at the same time. Creates a lot of jobs, over 100,000 jobs, but over 6,000 miles of payment repairs and upgrades have been done. That's more than one third of our entire transportation system in Illinois. We've worked on over the last several years, 860 bridges. We can't forget the importance of bridges in our state. Uh, very, very important that we keep them up to uh, safety conditions. Um, and uh, I'm committed to this uh, fundamental mission of investing in our roads, in our bridges, our highways all across Illinois. We have our legislative partners, leaders who have the same understanding that I do. This is very, very important. And I think one thing that Ann Snyder may have mentioned earlier this morning that we cannot forget, we have about two months left in the legislative session before the deadline on May 31st. And uh, we have to do some tough things in Illinois to right, right size our budget. Uh, one of them has to do with Medicaid restructuring. Very difficult, but very important. If we don't reform and restructure our Medicaid, uh, we won't have the proper resources we need for health care, as well as for education and public safety and human services. So that's a big project. We'll be getting a report from our working group within a few days, really, next week, I think. Uh, we'll work on Medicaid restructuring till we get the job done. And then the other very difficult task ahead of us is pension strengthening and stabilization. Those are complicated words, I suppose, but we have to deal with the fact that over the last 35 years, Illinois has not properly invested in some of these major pension funds. It now comes upon us this time, uh, this governor, to make the fundamental changes necessary to stabilize our pension systems and strengthen them. We cannot continue on the path we're on. Uh, it is a path that is not going to lead us to a good place. So that's what we're going to work on here in the next 60 days or so. And it does have a great impact for those who are involved in 
road construction, road repair, because our road fund in Illinois, uh, we want to make sure that's used for transportation. Fundamental purpose of it is for transportation and roads. Uh, but unfortunately, as the pension demands have come upon us, just 10 years ago, we were spending about $38 million from the road fund on the pensions for the various workers. But now it's, I think, 160 or some odd million dollars, a dramatic increase over the last 10 years, over the last decade. And if you really look at it, we have a, a usually a multi-year program over the next half dozen years. We will be spending about $800 million more than we did in the past just on pensions for the various workers who work for the Department of Transportation and elsewhere. Well, we can't, we, we really have to do something about that. We have to have a system where people have a decent retirement, but not an extravagant one. And that's really, I think, what the taxpayers and drivers of Illinois are all saying. They want to make sure that we have a good system. We honor those who, in the middle of very bleak weather, go out there and clear our highways. They're entitled to a decent wage and decent benefits and a decent retirement. But we have to do this in the realm of reason. And that is a very big challenge, not only for those who are in Springfield and the legislature, but all those who are out there working in Illinois, creating jobs. I really want to thank everyone here for your job creating mission. I went, it was, it was mentioned to China last September. I went with Larry Ivory uh, and uh, we saw firsthand how much better our infrastructure is in Illinois and in America than it is in, in that particular country. Uh, we should remember that it took a lot of hard work by committed men and women all across our state and across our country that built our highway system, our road system. And we want to continue in the 21st century to be the leaders in the world in this area. It's indispensable in Illinois because just in the last few years, more and more, our state has become uh, a uh, intermodal capital of North America. There are trains that come from either coast on big rail lines like uh, the Burlington Northern Santa Fe, the Union Pacific, Canadian National, Norfolk Southern. They all crisscross our state. But now they come to places like Elwood, Illinois, or Joliet, Illinois, or Rochelle, or many other places uh, where they unload those rail cars onto trucks and then distribute goods all across the heartland of our country, indeed the heartland of North America. Now we're in the middle of all this. Now in order to be successful, we must invest over and over, year after year, in our transportation system. We've got to have, and I was just looking at your very robust agenda here, all the things you're going to be talking about today and tomorrow, it's very important we focus on that in Illinois. We're in the middle of the country. We are the transportation leaders of the United States. There's a reason why President Obama picked Ray LaHood, my friend, Secretary of Transportation. Ray's been very, very good to us in Illinois. He's been good to the whole country. He understands how important investing in transportation is to the economy and recovery of uh, the American economy. And so we really uh, have uh, a mission to carry out in this year, this year is a very important year. We have to, as I say, reform our pensions and our Medicaid, but we also have to look to continued investment in our transportation system. When we did this capital bill three years ago, we had the help of a lot of folks in this room who went down to Springfield or made phone calls or sent emails to get legislators understanding how important it was after 10 years to support John Cullerton and Dave Kaler and all the other legislators who are articulating the need for a fundamental investment in transportation. You can't shirk from that. Our president is saying that nationwide. If we're going to have a strong economy, we must invest. You can't just cut your way to a better economy. You have to grow and build the economy a 21st century way. And one of the things we're doing with our road construction and repair and highway and bridge repair uh, is we're also trenching as much as we can along the way. We're laying 4,100 miles of fiber optic cable all over Illinois because in the law that we passed three years ago, we put about $70 million in that capital bill for broadband deployment. Now, some people said at the time, what in the world is that all about? 
Well, it turned out in the federal level, in the stimulus bill, there were many, many competitive grants that states could compete for, for laying fiber for high-speed internet all over. And we won grant after grant, I think 18 or 19 grants, our state won. So down there in Bloomington, we have a very big project going, Illinois Century Project. Everywhere in our state, we're laying fiber because we understand not only is it important to have a good highway system, uh, but we want to have a good information super highway system right along our roads. So if we're making a repair in the road, uh, we want to also trench and lay fiber at the very same time. You know, we have to have big plans, big dreams. We cannot be uh, looking at things in a piddly diddly way. We are the people of Illinois, 13 million strong. We have the 18th largest economy in the whole world. Uh, we're going to show the whole world we know how to build and make things. Our manufacturing, we've had a tremendous resurgence in manufacturing in Illinois. Caterpillar had their best year in 64 years last year. John Deere is out doing an outstanding job, had a terrific year last year. Just south of here in, in normal, Mitsubishi has a new line, uh, a new product line, the Outlander. They're going to be exporting to, I think, 90 countries from right there in normal. We're building the high-speed rail from Chicago to St. To normal to Springfield to St. Louis. Uh, uh, Chrysler, north of here, uh, when I became governor, had 200 jobs, 200 jobs in that big plant there, one of the best in the whole world. And now this summer, they'll have 4,600 jobs. And all of those vehicles that come uh, off the line, they've got to be transported somewhere around the United States or around the world. So we got to have a good transportation system of our manufacturing economy. Uh, tomorrow, I think the Secretary of Transportation is going to Ford. Ford, when I became governor, had one shift uh, in the south suburbs and south side of Chicago. Now they got three shifts, round the clock. They're building the Taurus, they're building the Ford Explorer, they're building police interceptors. Uh, we cannot forget the people of Illinois have skills, they're well educated, but they got to get to where they got to go in a road, in a highway, on a bridge that's safe and sound. And together, all of us working on that mission, we can make the will of the people the law of the land. Thank you very much.